take this! Certainly not bad. No complaints here. You sense one of your pals, Hoodle? the Renans take advantage of all of these ruins around here. It seems like a missed opportunity. Most likely because it would be inefficient for harvesting astral energy. That's what dictates the current positions of each realm's capital. Plus, Renans are averse to using anything that belonged to the Danans. Retreat if you know what's good for you! A comfortable win. Imagining things, or are there a lot of big zoogles in this area? No, I noticed that too. There's plenty of food and water to go around here. For a zoogle, this just might be paradise. Great, that's exactly what I wanted to hear.
I'm here. Let's move. I'm right behind you, Shion. Scratches on my shield or my armor. Hoo hoo. Hoo 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 hoo. Hoo. Hmm. You're saying we should check the owl forest? done. Ready and ready! 
This might go well in that new recipe. Can't wait to see what you make. You're the one making it. Say we check back in on the ranch. Ready and ready! Dragon's war! 
Close for comfort. What's this thing? We should be able to cook here. Hey, what do you think about that spot? Good idea. I'll go for that one. I hope we catch something decent. Indeed. Hungry bellies are counting on this. Reel it in. She's got a good size to her, all told. We can make a real feast out of this bad boy. Ha! Is this what I think it is? I'll let you go this time. Got something.
She's got a good size to her, all told. That fish put up a fight. Good catch! There are still so many creatures we don't know about. Have you been writing stuff down about what we fight? Yep. It's actually pretty fun to observe them from afar. This looks perfect. Guaranteed to hit the spot. <laughs> Kisara, let's talk for a bit. Sorry for rambling on so much about my past earlier. Don't sweat it. It was fun hearing you reminisce about the good old days. Come on, you don't have to pretend with me. I know I can tend to... go on sometimes, when it comes to my brother. You said it, not me. Anyway, I don't think it's something for you to be embarrassed about. <clears throat> hey, Alfin. When you were a kid, was there ever a time when you had to bury someone younger than you? Well, it's hard to say. I'm guessing that you have, though. Yeah. During the previous crown contest with the Lord before Dohalim, life back then was truly hell. <clears throat> I think that's why I tried to ignore what Migal was telling me for so long because I was afraid of going back to such a dark time, of losing hope. I wanted to believe in our paradise so much that I doubted the one person I should have trusted most. I don't blame Lord... blame Dohalim for that. I simply didn't want to face facts, and I ended up trying to project my ideals onto everyone else. It's strange. Whenever you and Dohalim talk about men and Sia, it's always like it's some big failure. We're talking about fixing 300 years worth of damage here. Isn't it a bit optimistic to think it was all going to be resolved after only five? You might be right. Maybe it was a mistake when men and Sia... No. When I decided to stop seeing the darkness in our society. I have to admit the truth. To myself, first of all. I'll take watch tonight. It's okay. 